Today, I'm gonna do a bit, something a bit different. I'm gonna do a walk of one of Newcastle's lost rivers. Underneath the city of Newcastle, there are a number of actually lost rivers. These run beneath the city streets that you actually walk through and you won't even notice they're there. So this one's Lort Burn, and this river is well known for the fact it runs down Grey Street. So underneath the center of Grey Street, there actually is a river. So I'm gonna walk you down the route of it and show you where it runs throughout the city. This is the boundary of Lees's Park and the town moor, and this is actually where the Lort Burn is believed to sort of rise and there's an artwork installation I'll show you in a second which is where the Lord Burn rises and then feeds into the Leases Lake. From there it flows out from the lake through a drain and then runs under Richardson Road which runs adjacent to the RVI hospital uh, towards St Thomas's Crescent. So we're going to follow that route now. Now we're coming down Richardson Road and towards us in the distance is the Trent House pub. Lord Burn runs down towards St Thomas's Crescent. Following around Thomas's Crescent, I believe the route of the river flows beneath this and runs towards the university buildings. So here in the distance you can see some of the university buildings. The river sort of makes a right hand turn and starts running towards the city centre. There's no real indication of a river running here but with the terrain um, you notice it's sloping down away from Leases Park Lake down towards the River Tyne and the river runs towards the Eldon Square bus station and the Eldon Square sort of shopping mall. Note here is the uh, Eldon Square car park. The circular cylindrical car park is sort of an icon I, I consider it. People might not like it but I think it's a real icon in this area and I think if they ever got rid of this it'd be a real shame. And in the distance over there you can see the Haymarket Church alongside the South African War Memorial and Browning Peace of the Civic Centre. So the river runs then beneath the Eldon Square shopping centre. The route through this area where the least well documented place it runs. From my understanding of Culver, you wouldn't want to build a massive sort of development on top of them just due to the impact it would sort of have on the structure and the, the sort of foundation you'd need. But all reports of the Lord Burn is that it runs beneath Richardson Road down onto St Thomas's Crescent and then towards Eldon Square, then joining at Grey Street. So it has to go through this Eldon Square shopping centre. So we sort of climb in through the bus station entrance into Eldon Square and we sort of pick up again the route outside of Eldon Square on the actual old Georgian Eldon Square. Here we, we turn the corner from where down towards Monument. Grey Street was originally laid out above the Lord Burn. Now in medieval times the city of Newcastle's overall development was constrained in the east by the Pandon Burn which runs approximately where the Central Motorway East runs and to the west it was constrained by the Lord Burn which obviously we're running down the route of today. So the old medieval Newcastle was developed within the almost bit of plateau down towards the river and then when Grey Street was built and the whole Grey Town redevelopment. This area of the Lord Burn was infilled in order to make the land stable enough to support it. Grange Town sort of saw a massive change of the landscape here and before this, before the Lord Burn was culverted and sort of covered over, this as you can imagine in medieval times was a flowing sort of sewer street was full of waste, muck and god knows what. I never understood why a street high up within sort of the, the city centre was called High Bridge. High Bridge is a cobbled street that runs between Pilgrim Street and Big Market. It actually has quite a steeping, curving route and I thought this was just sort of a more traditional older street within the city but the reason for the terrain and topography of the street is it it narrows or it dips down towards Grey Street and that was because High Bridge was actually a bridge over the Lord Burn. This bridge of High Bridge actually still remains underneath the city streets, part of it's built into the sewer system and the other major street which crosses, well which crossed the Lord Burn was Low Bridge, which doesn't really have the same sort of significance as High Bridge, dammed in by 60s developments, but it runs sort of near the back of the Cathedral and the Dean Street car park. River of the Lord Burn was apparently tidal as far in as High Bridge. So that shows you we're now probably around 200, maybe 300 meters away, if not more, from the River Tyne, and this is how far the sort of river flowed in, tidal extent. And the topography of the area is probably likely why Grey Street has famous curve it actually does. The river then obviously flows down Dean Street, which was originally built to the side of the Lord Burn. The river then meets the River Tyne somewhere near the Guild Hall, uh, that's where the Hard Rock Cafe now is, and the Time Bridge. Along this route, if you look from the Swing Bridge, you'll find a you'll find an outlet of the river that you'll only see ever really run when there is a heavy rainfall, because obviously a lot of the catchment of this river is buried underground. And I think the main thing about the Lord Burn, I always find it's, it's fascinating. There's this river completely lost underneath the city. Mm -hmm. 